there guys, welcome back to Seed to Table. For today's video, we're gonna be walking you guys through our entire nightly routine with all of our animals. That includes 37 chickens, a cow, and a horse. <laughs> um, we've got chickens in multiple locations right now uh, because we've got our guys that are in the run here. We have chicks that are getting ready to be in the coop. We've got some guys on quarantine, some new guys that we just got. And then behind me, of course, you can see Calvin's right there and Lav is, she's farther out. She's way that little speck right there. <laughs> um, so we're gonna walk you through our entire nightly routine. Everybody pitches in. Um, the girls mainly take care of chickens. And what we do. What do you do? We feed the chickens and the horses and the cows. You do, yes. So our night routine. Even sometimes let I help let Lavender out. How I do that is go in the barn. Oh, okay. <laughs> so our nightly routine always starts in the daylight and ends in the uh, darkness. Clover and Maple over here trying to break out. What are y'all doing here? Rennie's already in here getting Lav's food ready. She's got a quarter cup of her coconut meal, and then she has thyroid issues, so she's got some thyroid meds in here. So Ari, why don't you finish up Lav and go take care of what? Putting water in. Putting water in it, yep. And Calvin here. Uh, mama, goo -goo. You want me to do it? She has a hard time with this scoop. All right, let me see. There you go. Careful of the poop, Rennie. It's inevitable. Wah! Just one scoop, yep. Ryan's taking care of bucking out stalls. With this is only a matter You can only get better You can only get better And this is only a matter You can only get better You can only get better Go ahead Thor, go get your dinner Get it. Go eat Thor, yes, good boy Thor. Yes, Thor. Yay Thor We've Got our first escapee here Peach, are you gonna get back over? I gotta chase you. Peach! Girl! Okay. <laughs> good catch. Would you be a good show chicken? I mean, technically, I think you hold them like this. Well, that's not proper. You gotta hold your wings right. And welcome to the life of cows. They get poop and everything, even their water bowl that's suspended up. <laughs> Do we need to raise it a little so it's not his butt height? <laughs> And then we've got these guys that are right at the end of quarantine. So they're gonna be so happy to be running. Quarantine? They are, they're quarantined for a month from the other guys to make sure they don't get anything or they don't give them anything. Mm, sort of, but it's also precautionary. Ari wants to show you guys that she can climb all the way to the top of the hay. Wow, look at you go. Okay, so the hay's here. You guys gotta get hay for Calvin and Lance still? Right? I will say that typically I'm helping a lot more than I am tonight because I'm recording. Um, but like honestly I feel like it's very random who does what. Um, you know sometimes the kids fill the hay feeders, sometimes we fill the hay feeders. Um, the two main things that even sometimes the kids muck out the stalls like it's very random kind of just pitch in and do what needs to be done. Um, the really the only thing that like we for sure are the only ones that do it is actually bringing Calvin and Lav in at night. Big animals come with unpredictable behavior that just like isn't necessarily intentional or trying to hurt anyone. They're just big and the kids are little. So, and then the kids always lock up Mommy. those chickens. Mommy, help, yes. This is part of our nightly routine, is kids climbing on the hay bales now. A newer part of our routine since we didn't have this much hay <laughs> until recently, but, ooh, careful. So we are gonna go in and get dinner quick. Right now in the winter, we kind of play it by ear when we bring the chicks in, whether it's like getting really, really cold already, then we'll bring them in sometimes earlier. Um, but it's actually like gonna be low 70s, mid 70s over the next couple of days. It was 70 degrees today, so it's plenty nice outside for them to stay there. Um, they are seven weeks and one group of them is almost eight weeks old. So they're almost at the point that they really don't need to worry at all. Uh, I do have some ideas because these guys weren't gonna move to the coop till we moved too, but they need space. They really shouldn't be in here anymore. They're quarantined, they're done. So I'm thinking we might need to do like a temporary um, 
kind of enclosure for them for the time being, but we will see what we end up doing. Farm girls do step in mud. What do farm girls do? Step in mud. They step in mud? Oh. Yeah. You know what else farm girls do? Like to climb on the hay bales. Yeah. December 2nd and we're playing in the rain. Well, water. Not really rain. In fact, we need rain. Yeah, we do. We have a statewide burn ban right now because of the lack of rain. We have, how many is it? Three wildfires going on in yeah, North Carolina right now? Yeah, something like that. Pilot Mountain's probably close to 1,500 acres or something. All right, buddy, it's time for you to go back. We're gonna go get some dinner and then finish up. Come on, Thor, let's go. Come on, bud. In you go, bud. Go protect while we're gone. Good boy. Water bowls are filled. I don't even know if you can see that. Calvin's got his feed. Lav eats her feed over here. Um, and then we've got everything pretty much ready. This room is always like a hot mess. We're trying to figure it all out. And always having to come back in and close up these because our kids always manage to leave them open. Um, so these things are nice though. What are they called? Gamma seal lids. So we just have food grade buckets and then gamma seal lids on them. And then of course can't forget to feed Mr. Grayson too. What are we having for dinner? Chipotle. And guess what else farm girls like to do? You have dirt all over your face. Guess what else farm girls do sometimes? What? They love letting their animals out so much they forget to get dressed and just go right outside and let their animals out. In your pajamas? Yes, you do that a lot. <laughs> this is Thunder. Alright, give me Thunder. This is Thunder. Who's this? Um, a um, mine. Creek. 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 Spice. Spice? This is... Not me. This might be Redwood. Might be one of the oh, no, Jersey no, no, no. Giants. So we're putting them in here right now. And we're pumpkin. hanging out. That's pumpkin. Which one was Kajari? I don't remember. What does she look like? She's pretty though. She's got focus. I don't think you can see her coloring. She's got like a little brown. Yeah. This is Kajari. This is Kajari? Yeah. Oh, Kajari is the one with little muffs. She's so cute. Little Easter egg. My light Brahma named Wisteria. She's beauty. She is hefty. She is our sapphire splash. Though I will say I don't there's a little bit of splash in her. Her name's Mist. You found your hat. It's very dirty. You should go clean it off. Go go just shake it. Out there. Away from your sisters. It's not named. This guy's getting this guy's getting muff, so she might Cinnamon queen. be an Easter egg. This guy's one of our olive eggers. You can see the little tuft on the head is a sign of a cross with a cream leg bar, which is what gives you that little tuck. That's a good hat. You're adorable. This one's pretty cool. She's one of our Jersey Giants, I believe, because she's all black and she doesn't have any feathers on her legs, so I think she's one of the Jersey Giants. We got so many kinds, I don't know anymore. Our silver lace wine nuts. Ready, we have to fill it still. And another silver lace wind up. Okay. All right, baby, fill it up. Mama will add some grit as you go. Right. Filling it up with our chick seed. And then every once in a while, I'm just gonna do a little bit of grit. We, I haven't figured out a way to do self-serve um, grit that they um, don't knock it all over and it gets everywhere. We're all into the night, eating and drinking. We're on that wall, there's a big black thing. That's actually a, like a heating plate. So that's all that they use right now. We don't use a heat lamp. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm sure it does. Yeah. Mommy, mommy. Time to bring the chickens in. So these guys go in the barn at night so that they are safe from predators and the cold. Rainy days don't seem so wet. Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You're worth the wait Oh, 
This could be the best thing that I'll ever know. They're still totally figuring out how to come in from this side. Uh, first thing I have to do, because we haven't buried the line for electric yet, is we unplug it from this side. Unplug it, detach it, whatever. Um, because we don't want them to trip on this while they're coming over. Um, and I think the first time Ryan tried to let them in, they wouldn't even walk over it. They get a little confused still about who stalls who. All right, come on now, you coming? Go ahead, Laugh. When she's through, you can. Here comes Calvin. Good boy. Do this before he's in, but I forgot. Mommy, what? Outside. You're outside. Bye. Bye. Hi, Kelly. Bye, Come on, bud. Mom. Good night, in. Good night, bud. Good night, sir. So that's pretty much it. That's our night. Uh, like I said, usually one, it goes a little faster because I'm helping, but that's everything pretty much that we do um, in a typical evening. Sometimes we do part of it um, earlier in the day just to be prepped beforehand and sometimes just depending on our night. Like if we have somewhere we have to be that evening, then we'll like pre-prep everything so that basically when we come back home, all we have to do is just shut the chickens in and bring Calvin and Lavin and everything else is already done. We've pretty much fine-tuned kind of everything that we do and how we do it, uh, but for sure, like I mentioned, it's totally random who does what. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? What are you doing? What are you doing? What? What is this? Do you want a treat? <laughs> Here we have some treats. I got one for you too, Lab. Just a minute. Here you go. There you go. Here, Lab. Don't take my fingers off. Go get your hay. Go get your hay, bud. All right, y'all be good. Barn lights off, except our motion sensors, and time for bed. Good night, Lab. I don't think I talked about Lav stays out in the middle of the night in the barnyard. She has access to the barnyard or her stall. She was never stalled at her last place, um, and so she gets very stressed when she's like trapped in her stall, but she will stay in there like all night on her own accord pretty much um, if you just leave it open. But we have like the barnyard here for her to kind of go in and out of, but she still spends most of the night in her stall by choice. So we just do that with her. And then Calvin stays in his stall. He loves his stall. He waits, I think, like I showed you guys, he waits at the gate every night to come in. He's the first one waiting, oftentimes like two hours before it's even time to come in. And we're like, Calvin, dude, go graze. It's not time to come in yet. So if anyone's curious, like, do cows like being stalled? Because it's not typically a normal thing. Um, our cow does. Well, he's not a cow, he's a steer. There are a lot of things with terminology of animals, especially that like I was taught wrong my entire life. Like a fa the fact that cows are not all cows and cows are only, female cattle that have given birth heifers are female cattle that have not cattle that have not given birth um, then you have steers that are fixed males and then bulls that are fixed ma or that are unfixed males so really anytime you talk about a cow or you say like what sound does the cow make or whatever you're actually talking about female cattle that have given birth you're not talking about an entire species of an animal um, that's just cattle or bovine I guess I always refer to him as a cow or a mini cow but he's not he's a mini steer <laughs> <laughs> mini cattle, mini bovine, I don't know. Um, still a lot of terminology I am learning and I'll answer more questions on both of them. We actually have two videos coming up, one introducing you to Lavender and one introducing you to Calvin. You guys asked me a bunch of questions on Instagram. I asked you for questions on both of them so I'm gonna be doing like meet our mini steer and meet our um, halflinger and give like all the details on them. So that will be coming soon. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. We're really enjoying Christmas on the farm and doing Vlogmas this year. Um, it's a lot of fun and you get like a little bit more of a glimpse into our life and what we've been doing on the farm. So with that, we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.